Good morning! My hair is a little crazy today. <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you're just stumbling upon me. My name is Net. I make videos about things that I know about, such as momming and aesthetics. So today I'm going to be going through Ontario maternity leave, how it works. I'm basically going to be going through all of the information on the Service Canada website. I will leave it linked down below if you just want to reference yourself or if you are unsure where to start if you're trying to apply for the first time. Let's get right into it. You're going to be using the Canada.ca website and basically you're going to be going through Service Canada to apply for EI but it's a specific section of EI if you are not from Canada. EI is employment insurance which is basically unemployment. <laughs> unemployment benefits. I don't know what it's called in the States. Basically our maternity leaves here in Ontario anyway are government funded for up to a full year. It can be extended longer than that but you're taking a pay cut if you do do that. And I realize for any of you watching in the States d just, just taking a minor pay cut is probably better than the nothing that you may be getting from your employer if you get anything at all. So by the time you're watching this, I will have actually already started my maternity leave. I am very, very close to the time of filming this, but I'm not quite there yet. The link I'll have down below will go directly to EI maternity and parental benefits. And I just want to specify that, at least in Ontario anyway, maternity and parental benefits are different. Maternity is what you take while you're still pregnant. So you can take between 12 to 15 weeks of pregnancy leave or maternity leave. That is what I'm taking, that's why I'm starting so early. And then, as soon as your due date hits or as soon as you've had the baby, then it switches over to parental leave, which is what most people would call maternity leave. So once you've had the baby, the parental leave is your paid leave. Until September 25th, uh, there are some changes to the application process and what you receive because of the COVID-19 uh, benefit measures or relief measures that are put in place. So those are that the waiting period can be waived because there is typically a two week waiting period when you apply, uh, which is usually so that you can get like your last paycheck in, that kind of thing, especially for maternity leave. Um, I don't know about non-maternity EI benefits, that's a completely different thing. Also, normally for maternity leave, depending which one you're taking, you need a total of 480 insured hours off of your paycheck. Between that and 600 insured hours, so I think that depends on how much time you're taking. Uh, but now, you at the moment, you only need 120 and the rest will be supplemented by the government. As well as, uh, because it's based on your pay, you get a certain percentage of your pay, which we'll get into, um, maternity and standard parental benefits, you will receive a minimum of 500 per week before taxes, uh, but you could receive more depending on what your pay is because it, it basically they fill in the gaps so that you're guaranteed that at least that much. And if you receive uh, extended parental benefits, you'll get at least 300 per week before taxes, but you could get more. Again, that's based on your pay. The maternity benefits, this will sum it up basically what I just did. Uh, maternity benefits are only available to a person who's away from work because they are pregnant or have recently given birth, but they cannot be shared between two parents. So like if I were to go into labor, right now and have an unexpected early birth, I would still be eligible to get my maternity leave, which is 12 to 15 weeks of pay on top of the parental leave. So when you apply for maternity benefits, you are also eligible for parental benefits. Um, you don't have to take both, but I mean, if it's available to you and you qualify, then there's, why would you not? Uh, parental benefits are available to the parents of a newborn or newly adopted child. You can choose between the two options, standard parental benefits or extended parental benefits. I don't want my budget to be tight, so I personally am going with the standard benefits, which provides me with including maternity leave up to a year. The extended goes up to, let's see here, this is the benefit overview. So for maternity leave, the person giving birth, so I'm taking maternity leave, maximum weeks up to 15 weeks, I'm taking 12. Your benefit rate is 55% of what you get paid. So you don't get a full paycheck, but honestly, I've already done it once, it's livable. Especially if you're with another partner who's working. A maternity benefits can be followed by parental benefits. Standard parental benefits, which is one I'm taking, you get up to 40 weeks but one parent cannot receive more than 35 weeks of standard benefits. So you can split the parental benefits between both parents, which is actually what we're gonna be doing this time. 
Uh, so for the stand benefit rate is 55% of your weekly pay and then the extended parental leave is up to 69 weeks so you can get more time. One parent cannot receive more than 61 weeks if it's split but you're also going down in your benefit rate so you're only getting 33% of what your weekly pay is. So there's that. So now we're getting into the mixes. Well, I'm just going to do one of these. I'm only going to cover the standard uh, maternity plus standard because that's what I'm taking. Uh, the maternity plus extended is basically the same but with a different amount of time. It gives you like little examples like in a fucking like math book. Example says Natalie is taking time off work to recover from childbirth. She's sharing parental benefits with her partner to care for their newborn. She takes the maximum 15 weeks of maternity leave plus 35 weeks of standard parental leave. She gets a total of 50 weeks leave. Then it, her partner can apply for up to five weeks of standard parental to care for the baby. If Natalie chooses to take fewer weeks of parental leave, her partner can apply for more. They give you a little bit of leeway with the weeks if you're gonna be splitting, um, but you have to make sure to apply uh, for the exact same thing. So you can't change your mind halfway through and then split it. I'm about to apply for uh, maternity plus split parental. So they're gonna automatically, because I'm applying early, give me 35 weeks instead of 40. And that five weeks is going to carry over to my partner. But when he applies, he can apply for more than five weeks, but it will take time off of mine. It sounds a little complicated, but honestly, once you actually get into the application, it's very straightforward. Um, you just kind of have to have a plan in place for what you're applying for before you apply. Eligibility. In order to be eligible for these benefits, you need to demonstrate that one, you are pregnant or have recently given birth when requesting maternity benefits. Two, you are a parent caring for your newborn or newly adopted child when requesting parental benefit. Three, your regular weekly earnings from work have decreased by more than 40% for at least one week. That is the other thing. So you can go back to work while still receiving the maternity benefits, uh, but you can only work X amount of hours and you have to report uh, any earnings you make within whatever time frame they give you on your Service Canada profile. Four, that you accumulated 600 insured hours of work in the 52 weeks before you start your claim or since the start of your last claim, whichever is shorter. So for me, I'm actually taking maternity leave exactly a year after I came back from my maternity leave last time. So I've been working um, as of my last day for exactly 52 weeks. Okay. Eligibility periods. So for maternity leave, you can start receiving maternity benefits as early as 12 weeks before your due date or the date you give birth. Uh, you cannot receive these benefits more than 17 weeks after your due date or the date you give birth, whichever one is later. So you can still get back pay for this. And technically it's not really back pay, it would just start from whenever you apply as long as it's within the 17 week period. But for parental benefits, you can receive parental benefits within specific periods starting the week of your child's date of birth or the week your child is placed with you because this also applies for adopting a child. So these periods are standard parental leave within 52 weeks or 12 months, extended parental leave within 78 weeks or 18 months. How much do you receive? If your weekly earnings vary or your income changes, we use a specific number of your highest paid weeks. So they, they don't just like shit you over. It used to be, I believe, it wasn't like this when I applied last time, but everyone told me it was. So I think this was the standard that it used to be, is that they would go by like your last X amount of paychecks. Now they base it on your eight or 10 highest paychecks. They create um, like a balance um, or a medium between those numbers. Um, and then they base it off of your un uh, the unemployment rate where you live. So you can actually go in and open up a map of Ontario and it will show you the areas. You can just find where you live and it will give you the list. Uh, it, it will show you what the unemployment rate is and how they will base what your pay is between that rate and whatever your median pay is, uh, which is great for someone who is paycheck to paycheck shift work like me because none of my pays are the same. You can go in here and put in your basic information, like estimated information, and calculate how much you might be able to get for your EI. So there is a calculator on here. And to apply, you just go into your Service Canada account. If you don't have one, you just make set one up real quick. Um, they mail you um, an access code uh, once you've been approved. And then you use that to get into your Service Canada account. 
Um, your employer has five days, five business days exactly. I'm mentioning that specifically because my employer last time did not have mine in for uh, within the first five days and they ended up getting in shit for it. So uh, if you're an employer watching this, um, get your shit together in five days because that's what you got. For example, my last work day will be August 29th. They will have until September 3rd. That's it, to get my ROE submitted. Um, if you're unsure of what an ROE is, that is my record of employment. Um, it sums up the hours and that I've worked and money that I've made. And that's pretty much it. It's not suggested that you apply any earlier than the day before you're supposed to start your maternity leave. So it is kind of like unemployment where you have to be unemployed in order to apply and that just kind of makes it easier for the timeline because they need your ROE which isn't gonna be submitted until you're done work. Uh, this is what you need in order to complete your application. Make sure you have uh, the names and addresses of your employers within the last 52 weeks. The dates you were employed with each employer and the reason, because if you quit or got fired, then you are not eligible to receive the benefits, at least not from that employer. Your full mailing address and home address, if they are different, your social insurance number or your SIN. The SIN of any other parent you plan to share benefits with. So uh, in my case, I would need the SIN of my partner. That's so they can match up our applications when he does get around to applying. Last name at birth of one of your parents, the expected or actual date of the birth of your child, the date your child was placed with you for purposes of adoption, banking information to sign up for direct deposit, including your financial institution, your branch transit number and account number. The online application takes approximately one hour to complete. And that is pretty much it. If you have any other questions, please let me know down below. Um, I would love to answer them. I can go in more depth with this. If you want to check out the Canada website yourself, it'll be linked down below in the description box where I put other things. If you are new here uh, and you enjoyed this content, please make sure to subscribe, like the video if it was helpful, check out the other stuff down below if it tickles your fancy, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.